This is going to be the face of our box and we have, we're going to start by putting the two sides on and then the front and the back. So I'm just going to move these aside and I'm going to put the right side up for a moment and I'm just going to put a piece of tape half on half off, about half on, I'll say. not always perfect. After I put the tape on half on, half off, I'm going to cut off the corners in a diagonal manner and turn it upside down so that the correct side of the box is lying on the bottom. So this is the base. Let's see, I think I need some glasses for this. going to cut right at the angle, very close to the corner, nothing out for the black pieces. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take the sides, I've already put an edge on the sides. I want this to stand up right beside it. So I have the rough on the inside. And it's the same size, so I literally could just stand there. I'm going to do two of them. So I stand it up. A little bit of an angle, so there's a little gap between it. But you want it level with the bottom. Okay. Now I'm just going to cover up that gap, make it secure. Yeah. Sometimes I get too fast with the tape and it rips. It's very thin tape. So that's nice because it doesn't show when you add your paper. Now, Claire's been selling this, Claire Chabelle has been selling this tape for about five years, I think. I just met her during Corona, met her online during Corona. And there's now a place called Scrap and Create that she allows to sell it. So that's very nice because you can get it a little bit faster from the States. That's the only other place I know where to get it. So scrapandcreate.com sells this in America. And it's well worth the expense. If you are gonna make an order to Great Britain through My Creative Spirit, then it'd be good to tack on some black construction tape. After I have the sides on, I'm going to do the same thing for the front and the back. Back. So I'm going to put my front up there. This will be my back. Again, it's a little bit bigger now um, because we want these sides to just go behind it. So I'm just laying it down. I think I'll flip it over to make sure it's smooth. It is. And now I'm going to cover that gap. It tears, but I like to cut it because I like it to be smooth. Okay, this is the inside, so it won't show much anyway. You can see this black tape gets just about everywhere. Okay, 
now we have the box front. Again, it's just a little bit bigger than the base lengthwise to accommodate the, the thickness of the card because you want it to stand. Make sure it's smooth before I start. You want it to stand on the level base of the table. Okay, let's cover that gap. And then we'll put the sides up. I'm going to put the sides up and try something different. I'm going to try adhering it from the inside so I don't have to take it off. <laughs> so I'm just taking a piece of tape, putting it on the inside. There will be a secure tape in there in a minute. But I'm just holding it up while I do the outside of the box. I just thought of one more thing that needs to be done, but I think I'm going to do the edges first. So I'm going to take my right sides together, make a triangle piece. Pointed piece, I guess you'd say. It probably doesn't matter because I'm going to put tape on the top. I know I'll put the I'll put the triangle at the bottom since the bottom's all done. So to make like a miter, because this top is going to be covered. this on the inside of the cover. There we go. Perfect. Since that one's done, I'm removing the inside tape. Go on to the next one. Folding the right sides together. Cutting at an angle. Did a backwards angle. This is the bottom. Put the point at the bottom. It's a little sticky. There we go. If you do get a pucker, you can just lift it up. Second side down. I'll take the tape from inside. And trim off the top. This one now. Same procedure. Fold it a little bit. I'll just take it off first. Fold the non sticky sides together. Make an angle so it'll hit the bottom. Let's see. Go to the bottom. to get straight sometimes. Okay. And just fold it over the other side. Now since I'm going around the whole top, I am going to just cut the excess off. You can split it and 
put it down on the inside if you want. Okay, there was a piece of tape I put in the, in, in the center that I'm removing. And we have one more side. Folding the dry sides together, making an angle. done. This is when it's not done. So I'm going to start at the corner, lay it straight, cut off the edge. Ah. <laughs> I'll have to be the right size anyway. Let's try that again. I see a piece of tape here. I'm just going to cut it off. Okay, back to the point. Put the point in the corner, go up the side, and then tr turn it over the side. There we go. Okay, there's one more step before I'm going to add something to hold up the trinket box. I put three one half inch by five and three eighths, I think. I'm gonna put these on the inside to hold up the trinket box. And I wanna put more tape in the inside to make it very secure. I don't know why, today it seems like the tape is sticking a lot. I'm sort of folding this in half and then putting it right down to the bottom in one corner. Now because I'm using black card or black map board, it won't show, but I, I did see that I made a pucker in the tape, so I'm taking out and trying it again. I want it to lie flat. Just a little hang over here. So I'll trim that off. Fold it down. Okay, now let's do that in all four corners. I'm folding the right sides together. Well, that one went in easy. I think it's just a matter of getting used to it. You still have a little edge, trimming that off. Okay, so we have black on black, it's hard to see. I got a corner there, and a corner here. Now we'll do these ones. see what I'm doing but I'm essentially folding it in half and then putting half on each side. I have one more that doesn't have it. So I fold the right sides together, put it in the bottom corner. And secure the sides. Okay, now 
I would like to cover the top, but I'm only going to cover three sides. Both the front and the back are um, front and back are the same size, so I didn't mark these. I only had a called sticky note on it. So I'm putting about half on, half off, all around the top. When I get to the back end, I only want three sides covered. I'm just cutting off at an angle. I really should clean my scissors a lot more often. The black gets stuck on there. Okay, I put the angle down. Now, cutting up my corners, which will now be the front of the box. I'm just gonna fold that tape down. So now the top will have a smooth edge. If there's any fraying on your board, or whatever that'll make it secure. Now that's the front, this is the back, and now I'm going to stop <laughs> and then show you how to put a lid on. So the lid, I've made one hole in the middle of the lid. I have two sides. Let's see. And this is the top of the lid. I'm going to make a hinge here so that this lid can come off and on. Not off and on, but up and down. And the reason there's a hole there is after I get designer paper, I'm going to add a pull with little tags on the front of the box. So I'm going to stop right now and make the lid and then we'll attach it. Thanks for watching.